ಹೊಡೆದಿಗೆ ಇದೆ How's this? Perfect. If we go like this and, and pull it away. Right. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, one, two. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's the morning of day two. CJ's real busy, so I'm gonna do his intro for him. We're gonna go ahead and go to Betty's Kitchen. It's the middle part of the river, so I like to separate it into three parts. You have the upper river, which is Martinez Lake. You have the mid river, which is Betty's Kitchen. And then you have the lower river, which I just call lower river. We're gonna go see if we can't keep skipping into some cane, looking for that one big bite, that one big fish, and um, I'm super excited. I know CJ is. We're super tired. I look super scraggly. We gotta get this kid a big fish, like a giant fish, a six pounder, man. Someone caught a nine pounder yesterday, so we could catch a six pounder today. No doubt in my mind. We're gonna stop talking. We're gonna try to get on that morning bite, maybe catch a few striper, but I have no idea. I have no idea how it's gonna go. We're just gonna wing it. We're just gonna go out there. We're just gonna skip some baits, and then we're just gonna keep chucking and whining until we go zoop. Zoop, 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 zoop. Oh, yeah. That's how it's gonna go, people. Stay tuned. Today's video begins now. Enjoy, and let's get to it, people. Here we go. Boom. Welcome to the morning of day two. Let's get it. Ladies and gents, we are here getting ready to embark on our first spot. The beaver tea is going to put us on a good stretch out here at Betty's Kitchen. We're going to slay them. It is officially day two out here. Uh, day one was tough, but we got a couple fish in the boat and a good one at that. We're going to be skipping a lot of swim baits today and hopefully, hopefully, we can land that giant fish. Yesterday, someone caught a nine. Um, maybe we can get a 10. Who knows? We're going for a big fish today and a big fish for this trip overall. So, it's looking good, smelling great, the mosquitoes are mean. We're gonna catch them. Ready, bro? Let's do it, son. Heck yeah. You're our guide in Mexico. We're practically in Mexico. Pretty much. <laughs> cool, yeah. Skipping snaps a little. Skippy, skip, skip. Alrighty folks, so pulled up over here to the dam. I'm gonna throw this saucy, saucy looking Crystal Lure underspin here. If you guys wanna pick some of these up, check out Crystal Lures on their website or on Instagram, uh, as well as YouTube, and you can pick some of these beauties out. They are awesome baits, um, all handmade, made with love. The guys over there do a great job, uh, and I really, really enjoy throwing them. I have a lot of luck on them. So if you guys are looking for a good swim bait style to go with, that underspin right there is, is clutch. That is a beauty. So we're gonna chuck it around today. See if we can catch some fish over here at the dam. Tristan says there's striper over here, largies of course, and also smallies. But we're getting into some current here. Looks like it'll be a fun time holding on to the trolling motor today. I'll be doing that. Skip it in there and also have to go boosh. And that fish will be right there. Just was sitting in there, saw that skip down in there, come out of his little hole. Yep, just like that. Really? Yeah, it's a good fish too. Oh, it's a striper, I think. But it's a good fish. Jesus, dude. Oh, stripers are fun. Yeet. Right through the fat of the mouth. 
Oh, that's a good fish, huh? Oh, woo! <laughs> that is a good striper. Look at that thing. Not a largey, but a good size striper. Look at that, ladies and gents. On that underspin right there. Flipped it in, skipped it on the tree, worked it out. She came and smoked it. She's feisty, dude. But we're gonna release her so we don't drift too far past this bank because this looks like some pretty good stuff in here. I'm gonna let her go. Ready? Yuma stripe bass right there on the underspin. Crystal lures, check them out. Oh, this boat is hot. You got lots of air in you, but you guys are resilient fish. Ooh. Hey, there we go. That was kind of cool. I was just talking about it, about skipping this underspin in the trees, reeling out and feeling a thump, and literally like two casts later, that exact thing just happened, so. But we're gonna get back to fishing. We're drifting pretty quick with this current, and there's a good stretch coming up right here, so we're gonna fish it out, guys. First fish of the day, not bad at all. A knuckle. Woo! Yep, there's another one. Bassy. <laughs> He's been in there for a little bit. A little whippersnapper right there on the underspin. Look how dark that fish is, guys. Whew. Thanks, buddy. Smoked it. Kissy, bro. Oh, you gotta kiss him. Dude, we're gonna get bit in this. Yeah? Big one? Oh, he felt bigger. That's a fish, though. Oh, it's not a bad one at all, boy. Hey. There we go, B. Heck yes, son. First little fishy for me of the day. When'd you catch that thing on? Uh, dude, all right, check this out. Look at this. Watch my lips move. I put that spot lock on, bro. They're munching. All right, so I'm throwing spinner bait. I'm kind of junk fishing. I was like, yo, CJ keeps getting bites. I was like, dude, give me an underspin. Um, these are from Crystal Lures. And as, literally as soon as I got it, it's like my third, fifth cast maybe. Out comes a little green muncheroonie over here to smack it, dog. It was pretty cool. It's cool bite. Cool bite. Interesting. I've never really thrown underspins, but if I did, uh, these are these feel pretty well made right now. So I'm gonna keep chucking and winding, boys and girls. Look at this little green back. Mwah. Look at that. Oh yeah, get that eyeball. Mmm, that's cool. You ready, little boy? Oh, I gotta get you close. Always kiss my fishing. Ooh, angry. Got me in the lips, man. Got the lens. Let's get back to it, boys and girls. Ah. Alrighty, homies. We're gonna bounce out of Betty's kitchen here, and we're gonna head over to Mitri Lake, Lake Misery, as the beaver likes to call it. He thinks we're gonna get a big fish out of there. Everyone else at the ramp thinks uh, it's a terrible idea. They're giving us some crazy looks, but I have I have my faith in Beaver. I think we're gonna get a, a big fish out of there. Never been there before, but he says it's one of their few lakes that they have over here that's not directly connected to the river system. He might not get many bites in there, but he thinks if we do get a bite in there, it's gonna be a giant fish, and that's exactly what we're going for. So we're gonna bounce out of here, get the truck all loaded up, and we're gonna head over to Lake Misery and look for that big fish and put misery on our reels here. It's gonna be good. I'm ready.
up. I love wind on Mitri. I'm still gonna be skipping. I'm still gonna be trying to, you know, get that big fish to come up and blow up. Um, if not, we'll switch to chatter baits, spinner baits, underspins. I'm going for that really big bite, and I really do believe with the wind, the time of day, and um, with everyone else talking, I think we can get that one fish. You know, we just gotta fish a lot of toolies. We gotta fish a lot of water, and the more water we cover, you know, the greater we're gonna increase our odds. So we're gonna get to it. He's gonna get the chesty on, and we're gonna start skipping, pitching, flipping, grinding, and winding, boys and girls. Let's get it. Fish, you want to roll on it? There you go. <laughs> Oh, a squeaky dude. Oh, get him in the boat. Ah. All right, there's a fish beef. Yep, skipping, chucking, grinding, and whining, people. Rolled on it. Yeah, buddy. Heck yeah. Thank you, sir. I love when people are like, you're going to meet tree, this, and that. They're not biting, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we're on. Oh, damn, sir. It's a good fish here. That's not bad, the two pounder. Here we go, guys. Oh, yeah, two pounder, maybe. Very, very like a two pounder. Alrighty, guys, my first Mitri bass right there on the Crystal Lures underspin. That's been producing my fish today. Get a little two pounder right there and just uh, crush that underspin boat side. A little post-spawn fish right there. Maybe, maybe pushing three pounds if she was all fat, but uh, she's super skinny, maybe two and a half. But she's good to go. Yeah, we've been grinding it out in this wind. Mitri, like Tristan said, can be really tough, but it's given us two fish so far, so can't complain at all. All these people are like, oh, you're going to Mitri. Like, you're crazy for that. And they're giving us these weird looks. And we come out here, and yeah, it's been kind of tough, but we've caught two fish. We've already caught half the fish that we caught at Betty's. We've only realistically been out here for maybe two hours, maybe. Honestly, it's a, it's a crazy place. First time here and I like I like the different types of structure that they have here and I, I just like how the river system is and how these, these bass react to baits. It's pretty cool. <laughs> We're going to keep chucking around see if we can catch some more. The knuckles, bro. Come on, baby girl. Big and They're all pigging, boy. Oh, oh, he's a giant. The ball, the ball. <laughs> Baby. There we go. Yes, sir. Get him. Almost back to back. Yeah. Oh, dude, that was so solid. Ah. Yeah. Hey, there's another one. Woo. Little Eddie right there. They're 100% in that Eddie right there. Yep. Yeah. Choked it as well, bro. Woo. There we go, brother. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, pounder. Trying to call my day on this little fish right here. Dude, that sounds so good. That working for you? Oh, good one. Oh, he said, no, I'm not ready. Ah! There we go. I said, I want one more fish. Choked it. Look at that thing. Just adds a bloop, the crunch. A little Scooby snack for my boys out in Tennessee. Yummy. Thanks, buddy. Ooh, I'll give him like seven on the landing there. Crystal Lewis underspin. We we're getting ready to take off, and I said, hey, I want one more fish. And uh, made a long cast, got bit, long hook set. He's in the boat, son. That was cool. Okay. Got one? Here, jump in the back. Oh, it's a big one, bro. Jump in the back, jump in the back. Here, bring it over here, I'll grab it. Oh, oh, get in the boat, son. Yeah. There we go, boy. Yes. There you go. Yeah, ah. Four pounder all day, baby girl. Dang, boys and girls, look at that. Got me a pigging. Oh man, so we were skipping, we were pitching, we were winding and grinding, you know. Got one fish like that, so it made us continue to do it. But then I was like, you know what? I feel like throwing a chatter bit. I've caught three fish on the chatterbait, dude. This is just like your little Z-Man chatterbait with the little cheater at the end. Nothing special. But we got wind here at Mitri, and I love wind here at Mitri, man. Look at this fish. That's a good one. That's a solid, at least four pounds. It's a high three, low four. And I mean, he just crushed it, dude. It was like, doom, and I was like, doom, and I was like, boom, 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 boom. And then I was like, oh, and I just boat flipped it. It was crazy. Probably shouldn't have done that. Probably should retie. But I'm excited. This fish is in the boat, and Ah, yes. Ah, so I'm gonna get her some water, take a little photo, and put her back in and catch another one. I knew coming here would be pretty legit, dude. How do you guys, how do you guys do this stuff? 
Goodbye, baby girl. Oh! <laughs> she wanted That's to give scary, it, dude. She wanted to give it. Yeah, baby, let's Woo. get some more, son. Alrighty, guys. Just got off of Mitri Lake there. Gave up nine fish today uh, for its bad reputation. It actually treated us very nice. Couldn't complain there. Uh, caught four on an underspin, four on a chatterbait, and one on the OG cheater. We're getting ready to head home right now, get all the batteries recharged, all the SD cards moved, and uh, get back out there this evening in a new spot. And hopefully it'll be explosive and we'll catch some big fish. So we'll see you guys back uh, at the lake. Stay tuned. Don't want to get my white vans all muddy. Let's do it. Really? Yeah. Where at? Right there in that pond. Oh, dude. I heard it. Oh. 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 Got him. Yes. Got him. Yes. Yes, boy. Yes. No. No, dude. No. We no. talked about that earlier, bro. No, dude. Oh, my gosh, dude. Oh. oh. Oh my gosh, bro. Oh, oh my what? Gosh. That was crazy, bro. You see how orange and red dude, he was? Dude, he was so dark. He looked oh. like a peacock. <laughs> hey, I'm glad you, you waited really good on that first one, bro. He came out in the current to get that, huh? We just talked about that, bro. I had him hooked, too, dude. Oh. I just went straight for the flip. I'm like, he's going in. He was almost in, bro. He was almost bro, in. Was oh my gosh. Inside the bowl, bro. That's amazing. Oh, dude. Bro, I am tired. People don't get it, bro. We have had like, what? A 12 hours of sleep dude, in the last like three days. Oh, CJ, I love being your guide and everything, man, but I might die today, you know? I just, I just got one comment for you. What? You don't get sponsored to lay around, bro. <laughs> Dang, <laughs> bro. I'm taking this off. Wait, real quick, let me address it. This is my high school jersey. This is from high school. All these people right here, they sponsored the high school club, but that was years ago, so. I am crusty AF. It is the last morning. We're just gonna go fishing. I'm exhausted. We had an awesome time night fishing, so we're just gonna roll into today. We kind of slept in but we needed that because there was no way we we're just gonna get up in two hours again. So, excuse my crustiness, my pimples, my scraggly face, and my runny nose right now. We're gonna go get it, people. <laughs> my energy seems really low. I drink a little Red Bull right now. I <laughs> wake up and start to chucking and winding, boys and girls. Without further ado, stay tuned. I hope you guys enjoy it so far, th this video. Alrighty guys, just rolled up to Mitri for the third time. The Mitri, for some reason, has been Old Faithful. I mean, you look at the facts, we've just caught more fish and better fish out of Mitri than anywhere else right now. We've been to five different systems, I think, and this is the third time we've been to Mitri here. Last night it was really good. Uh, I ended up catching like a four and a half and a handful um, just on the underspin. So I'm gonna roll that around today. It looks beautiful, we got some wind, which is definitely gonna help. Low battery on the trolling motor, got a little bit of gas in the boat, but we're gonna get everything ready. I gotta leave today and I am tired. We are wiped right now. We are like 10% battery right now. Real quick, I gotta add something to the peeps back there. We keep saying Mitri because everyone has that lake that you come to and it's like, Oh, I gotta go there and it's a grinder. So that's why we keep saying Mitri and that's why I'm so surprised like that We keep ending up back here because it's like it's so good right now and, and it's only gonna last for a few more days probably and then it's just gonna shut off So we're gonna take full advantage like CJ said and we're gonna get to it. This is it boys and girls This is it <laughs> just to clear that up for everybody. So in case you guys are wondering
We're out here at Mitri Lake. Here's what I'm throwing. I just wanna peep that real quick. Crystal Lure's underspin there. And watermelon red. And we haven't been here since, well, like eight hours ago. We're hoping to get wrecked on some moving baits here. We got the wind, it's perfect conditions. The water's fairly clear, a little bit of grass. Like it's looking pretty nice. We just have to find where the fish are grouped up and keep moving forward, keep covering water. Seeing like uh, if we cast it up to the tulies, within 10 feet off the tulies, they are wanting to eat it. We'll see what she writes. That's it. Oh, fish right here. Oh, right here. Oh, dude, that was insane. Okay, there's still fish in here. Big bro. Yeah? Big dude. Big Oh, that's a good one. He's bigger. That's a good one. All right. Giant, but All right. Bigger. There we go, buddy. Oh, my gosh, people. Yeah. Finally. I'll take it, dude. <sighs> mm. Hey. Yes, yeah. yeah, dude. But I'll go back there. <laughs> oh. oh. I had a fish, bro. Really? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Little guy. Little guy. Oh, tiny dude. Coming right at me. Oh, get in the boat, please. Oh. oh All right. Whew. Tiny little dude, but crank the underspin. Ah, oh, man, I got some life back in me. Thank you, buddy. Golly. Mm. Good fish. Better, Better fish. Oh, yeah. There we go, guys. Oh. Come on, fish. Come on. Ready? Ready? Oh, she's diving. Oh, there we go. Hey. <laughs> there we go, guys. Choked it, dude. Look at that. A little two pounder just smacked it. Cranked the uh, undie. Good old Mitri fish right there on the crystal lures underspin. Absolutely cranking it out here. Oh, thank you, buddy. Mm. Whew. That felt good, dude. Finally, we've been grinding and grinding and grinding for bites. And Tristan got blown up on the frog a few times. I got thumped on the underspin a couple times. But it looks like uh, we're coming down a pretty good stretch here. I got two fish within, I don't know, 10 yards from each other. That could potentially be our, our final our final fish there of the trip. Sad to say that, but it's true. We're getting there. We're going to fish for a little while longer, see if we can get that big bite and then wrap it up for you guys. So stay tuned. Oh, got him, beef. Got him. Got him, Beef. Get him in the boat. Not a bad fish, Sonny. Yeah, dude. We have to stay out till dark now. <laughs> oh, another three hours out here, bro. Thanks, bro. Want to night fish it? Ah. You're not even down. Here we go. There we go. Oh, there we go, baby. There we go, son. Finally, dude. Yes, son. Let's go. Oh, dude, it just popped off. Cheater bass, bro. Alrighty, guys. Last fish of the day on the cheater. Such an amazing trip. Incredible bite, skipped it over there. He rolled on it, set the hook. Finally, I've been skipping that cheater so much. And I just couldn't get him to get the hook. And this guy finally came up, got the hook, barely got him, put them in the boat. My goodness, we are so tired out here. Let's let her go, and let's wrap up this video. It has been wild, thank you, buddy. Mm. There she goes, blood. Oh, yes. Oh my gosh, guys. This has been an insane experience out here in the lower Colorado with the Beaver T himself. We have been grinding for the past three days, just non stop waking up at like four in the morning. Unfortunately, we never got anything over like six pounds, but stellar experience, guys. This has been insane. I can't thank Tristan enough for bringing me out here and letting me experience all this. The main goal of this video was to experience as much of the human fishing spots as we could. Um, and that's exactly what he did. These fisheries are amazing. The fish in here are so healthy and just, uh, and there's a lot of grown ones in here, guys. I mean, this is a big fish kingdom right in here. And if you ever checked out the beaver tea stuff, you guys know that, man, he's 
pulled out some giant fish so i highly recommend checking his channel out but it's just been a grinder it's so relieving knowing that uh, the grind is kind of over and we can settle down for a little bit i mean we're going off of you know maybe 12 hours of sleep for uh the past three days it's been insane i have a three hour drive back home and it's already the evening we've been fishing since this morning so it's going to be a long long day but it's been a great trip it's been awesome but uh guys thank you so much for tuning in to today's video uh, like I said, check out Tristan, the Beaver Tea. Look at his stuff. All his links will be linked down in the description below. I'll have his Instagram and his YouTube channel down there. So check it out. Show him some love. And uh, guys, I'm signing off. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's video. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.